Hey there, everybody. Eric from Outer Limitless coming at you today with another video. Now, today's video is very cool. It's not every day I get to do a video quite like this. In this video, we're going to look at both Outer Limitless knives and some products from TJ at Black Bear Tactical Concepts. And so when I started my channel, well, I never saw the fact that not only would I have the opportunity to work with different brands, respond to comments from my viewers and subscribers, sell knives to some really incredible people, and from all of that, make some really good friends. And TJ has become not just a viewer of my channel, a customer from my knife company, but also he is a friend. And in this particular case, he also has some products. So what we're gonna do today is look at some of the products from TJ's Black Bear Tactical Concepts. He's got a number of things here that I think you're gonna find are pretty cool. And then we're gonna look at the knives that he bought from me and the package that I've put together for him. And so with that said, I have a whole bunch to do and a whole bunch to share with you. And if you're interested in seeing a little bit more about what I'm about to get into, do me a favor, stay tuned. Now, before we get too far, I would like to say thank you very much to TJ at Black Bear Tactical Concepts for being not just a customer and not just a friend, but for providing all of this for review. Now here in front of me, a whole bunch of stuff from TJ at Black Bear Tactical Concepts. Now the main thing to consider is most of his stuff is relating to basic EDC, or I would say some firecraft and bushcraft style products. However, there are also some products here TJ not only has Black Bear Tactical Concepts, but he is also known as the Pepper Man. So here, the Pepper Man, well, he has a very hot pepper uh, selection, different spices, different peppers, and he has provided some samples here. So we're going to take a look at all this. Now, I'm not going to promise you I'm going to eat them <laughs> because, uh, well, I don't want to have a... Uh, I guess a meltdown on camera. So I'm probably going to hang tight on that and try them at a later time, but we'll get into all of his tactical and bushcraft products. So TJ has sent me two packages at two different times. We're going to start over here and look at some of these items. So first and foremost, one of his main products, well, his tins. These are sort of EDC tins that are a little bit nicer and a little more stylish than, well, say the Altoids tin that a lot of people use to build small kits, EDC kits, firecraft kits, bushcraft kits, different things like that. But this is exactly what TJ provides. So here you can see a real nice just black finish. He puts nice little details. You can see here the American flag, his sticker. This could stay on or come off depending on what you prefer. But very nice, almost like a matte black finish. Very cool. And in terms of the uh, general uh, sort of design, you can see here he puts his bear logo and then inside you get kind of like a little uh, keychain sort of fob, which is very neat. So all in all, just a nice little presentation. These are very affordable, a nice little piece for your kit. At right around $6, it's a nice little value, very easy, simple, and if you don't like the black, he also has the gold. So again, just a real nice polished look. And at the same time, these are very practical for a number of different things, whether you're gonna carry them every day or use them in the bushcraft scenario, definitely pretty cool. He also has these very fancy tins. Now, these are a little less than $7, and no two tins are alike. So he decorates these, gives them just a neat sort of look, has a little style, his own personal flair, and is something that's just a neat and unique piece. So TJ doing a nice job, spending a lot of time on these, and putting together a really cool EDC product. Now, I have yet to open this pouch, so we're going to figure out what's in here together. Little EDC pouch. And inside, a number of different items. So again, speaking to the pepper man, you can see some pepper samples here. So these definitely look pretty hot to me. I mean, taking a look at this here, you can see nice big hunk of pepper. I'm not sure how hot it is, but I definitely at some point need to try. This one's more crushed pepper. I will definitely use this, put some in pasta or a different dish, something like that. That'll be nice. So looking at some of the paperwork, this is Carolina Reaper. 
and supposedly very, very hot. Now, a couple additional items here. You can see some more of TJ's tins. So this is another one of his specialty tins. You can see here, as he mentioned, no two will be alike. So putting a little texture, a little bit of flair, definitely neat. This here being one of his gold tins, but you can see his logo on both sides. So spicing that up a little bit and then changing up the interior. So some of these are a little bit different. He's kind of playing with things, changing it up so that no two are exactly alike. I think that's pretty cool. And so here, as we look at this, you can see sort of a uh, different shape here. Well, this is a bug buster candle. Popping off the lid, you can see, again, the bug buster candle. Uh, pretty neat. Looks like inside it actually has uh, some pine needles and things like that. A very nice smell. Um, generally, actually very pleasant. So I'd be really interested to see how this goes. So again, this is the Bug Buster Candle. The real nice thing about this is it's a great size. I mean, you could easily stick this in a pack, no problem. It's not overly sized. And it's actually a fairly decent sized candle. So I'm sure it would last you a number of trips. So I like this. Very cool and a great idea from TJ. So Black Bear Tactical Concepts, nice job. They can see here he has sent a couple of them. So taking a look at this one. Also the same exact. So you'll see the uh, pine needles and then the same pink wax. So very nice. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. I think these are going to be really cool and I'm looking forward to testing them out. Now these Bug Buster candles are $8.88. So nice price, very cheap. And TJ says these last for roughly 17 hours to help keep bugs away. So definitely very cool so here inside this tin you can see another camo pattern so very similar here so camo pattern tin this hot pepper here so uh, here's a uh, blend so another jar of the special blend here's a couple more of TJ's pendants so really cool so here you have a nice little uh, looks like a keychain and then a couple of pendants so really nice and so you can see he has a few different designs here. So one in brass. These ones here look like stainless. Very cool. One larger, one smaller. Really neat. And this tin here, very similar to the others, but round, nice size. Good for um, general EDC or even for your desk. Kind of screws together, which is nice. So it locks together. That's pretty sweet. And so here... And I don't think I even want to touch them. This is the Trinidad Scorpion Hot Peppers, which uh, he warns are extremely hot. So again, um, I don't want to melt on camera. Uh, so I will probably reserve tasting these a later time. And so the EDC pouch, this is 1888. You can get this in a number of different colors. So orange, black, or the camo. Now inside, this does contain one of TJ's tins. So you can either get the standard tin or for a dollar more, he'll make you a deluxe tin. So inside the tin, you'll get a Bayite heavy duty fastener, two band-aids, two water purification tablets, two waterproof matches, and pretty much anything else could be added upon request. So any other sort of things, like for example, uh, bars, flashlights, pocket knife, etc. So TJ showing some of the examples of things that could really be added to this. So opening this up, well, first and foremost, the tin. So you can see here, you know, he would basically give you the water purification tablets and the bandages, installing the tin there. He is talking about the Bayite heavy duty fasteners. So these Bayite heavy duty fasteners, pretty much like a keychain. So you can loop these into a circle, attach them anywhere you would like. Now there is a couple locations here, some tabs here you can add this, fasten that on if you so choose, add a key, add a whistle, add some EDC style option. Could see that working out pretty well and actually a very nice little fastener so neat little addition you could actually use this if you had to hang this up that would work out pretty well so neat little fastener and then here for example mini flashlight so he sent here this nano light from Streamlight. actually this is a pretty cool little light i like that so adding that it's pretty bright 
works out pretty well. I like that. So cool little flashlight. And obviously you could clip this on if you so choose. So just kind of building out the pouch a little bit. If this is something you're interested in, you can definitely ask for some of these items from TJ. Now this is sized well enough to hold things like, for example, protein bars, even knives. So adding pocket knives and even slightly larger ones. So just a nice little pouch has good amount of space. You could make a nice little medical kit out of this. You could certainly make a fire kit and especially where you already have some of these items already built into it. So one pouch being suitable maybe for your fire kit, another side for your med kit. So building this out into a nice little EDC option. So coming as a little bit of a starter kit uh, right out of the gate from TJ at Black Bear Tactical Concepts for 1888. Definitely very cool. And so a number of products here from TJ at Black Bear Tactical Concepts. Now, one last thing that TJ does offer is consultation on things like, for example, prepping, camping, different types of trips, bug out bags, long-term bags, and EDC bags. So Black Bear Tactical Concepts, TJ, awesome, man. Thank you very much. I appreciate you sending all of this to take a look at. I am not too sure if I'm going to be taking a taste of this Carolina Reaper, uh, but for the Pepper Man, I do have to say I'm looking pretty forward to this tasty looking blend. And so as I mentioned, TJ is not only a viewer, not only a subscriber to my channel, but he has his own brand and well, he is also a customer. So here in my hands, this is TFK T17. Dot six unit number 66 so this was made specifically for tj and as you can see here on the blade this was made for black bear tactical concepts so this particular knife here in n690 he configured this himself you can see these beautiful pine cone voodoo resin handle scales nice mild jimping on top full length cutting edge this knife being absolutely gorgeous. TJ, man, I hope you love this and enjoy it. Um, I am looking at this here and just absolutely loving it myself with these awesome orange liners. Just a fantastic look. I love the way you configured this. That's the fun part about this project. Every customer really configuring their knife for their own personal likes and needs. And you can see here, just beautifully done. So nice quality wilderness blade here, just looking beautiful and on its way over to TJ at Black Bear Tactical Concepts. Now, not only did he buy a T17.6, but you can see here T17.4 unit number 23. Again, made specifically for TJ, again, N690 and the Voodoo Resins handle scales with those beautiful pine cones really cool this one here having oversized orange g10 liners looking just wonderful and again made specifically for tj the t17.4 being a little bit shorter so you can see there black bear tc so tj man i hope you enjoy this again just an awesome little bushcraft knife and side by side next to the t17.6 well just a really beautiful matching pair each one being unique very natural what i love about the pine cones just bringing nature to the knives combining sort of a natural element which is really cool and these knives looking beautiful side by side now as if the knives weren't beautiful enough here are these sheaths here for the t17.6 and t17.4 wonderfully made by mark at Extreme Edge Custom Kydex. Now, these here being a piggyback ride system put together beautifully, leveraging the Zombie Buck Kydex here. So the color Zombie Buck. Looking how that's gonna match in, you can see TJ definitely liking the orange and black theme. Very cool, just enough accent and highlight in there to look really good, you can see. And I'm, I'm never ever gonna take a customer's knife and actually send it in the sheath. That's like a rite of passage. Every customer uh, always gonna have the ability to sheath their knife for the first time. So I will not do it. Uh, so you're not gonna get to see this in the sheath, but uh, you can see here just looking really cool. The orange playing off of the ferro rod loop and it's also specifically intended for a flashlight so this is not just a ferro rod which you can see here but a flashlight loop so specifically made for tj set up and ready to go
Now on the sheath, you can see we did start using the Ulti Link system. This is Ulti Clip's newest system, but this nicely allowing a piggyback ride in many different positions. So depending on how you like to run this, you can cant this pretty much in any different direction and allows this to really fine tune to your exact needs. So mounting this up, very simple, allowing that to index and closing that fully ready to go in just a moment's notice. This Ulti-Link system I think is gonna be very cool and sort of change the game for us. The ability to piggyback ride these so easy. That's absolutely fantastic. And so all in all, really, really great. I really enjoy the fact that here, a number of products from Black Bear, Tactical Concepts, molding in here with the TFK project. Well, at this point, a viewer, a subscriber, a customer, a business owner, and a friend. TJ, thank you very much. TJ from Black Bear Tactical Concepts. Take a look below. You'll see all of the contact information and how to get a hold of TJ. If there's anything here you see, I would definitely suggest reach out again to TJ at Black Bear Tactical Concepts. And so TJ, thanks man. I really appreciate it. I'm so glad you reached out. I really appreciate everything from being a customer supporting me and then here my ability to help to support you showing off these cool products. So for all of you, again, if you're interested in anything you see here, look below, get all the information, reach out to TJ at Black Bear Tactical Concepts. And well, if you like hot peppers and you prefer to... Uh, burn your mouth off, reach out to TJ too, because the pepper man specializing in hot peppers. And I know some people really like them. Um, for me, I know I'm going to like this blend. I'm looking forward to this. I'm going to use some of this tonight. I'm going to do some cooking. I'm going to add this to my food. So this is going to come in great. And for everything else, well, I hope you guys enjoyed that, taking a look at the T17 knives. So both the T17.6 and T17.4, alongside these absolutely gorgeous and beautifully made Extreme Edge custom Kydex sheaths for both these knives. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. So, all right, guys, thanks for stopping by. I hope you like what you saw. I hope you found it a little bit informative. If you like what you saw, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for stopping by. Take care now. I'll see you soon.